Hey everyone, in today's episode we're going to be talking about Floor Generator. To start working with Floor Generator, the first thing that we need to do is to create a spline. We're going to be using a rectangle tool with a 2.5 snap to cover the whole surface of the floor that we want. After this, I'm just going to convert this into an editable spline. The next thing that we need to do is add the Floor Generator script. In this case, I have the latest version, which is actually a modifier. So you can scroll down to Floor Generator. And automatically it's going to select the last settings that you have. So in this case, what we're going to be using is a pattern. It's going to be the standard one. We're going to be setting up these uh, 100 centimeters length. And as you can see, what this is going to be doing is controlling the size of the floor. The next thing that we're going to be doing is the grout. The grout usually is going to be at 0.5 or 1 centimeter by default. So what we're going to be doing is changing this to 0.1. We're also going to be changing the offset. What the offset is going to do is going to modify the offsetting of each one of the pieces of the board. So sometimes we're going to be using 45. In this case, I like to use 60, which is standard for most of the floorings. You can keep this through by default. One centimeter is usually good for most of the situations that we want. And we're going to be also using bevel. What bevel is going to do is create a bevel on the edge of the, of the board. So in this case, if I change this to one, you can see the difference. I'm just going to keep it at 0.15. The next thing that we're going to be looking at is the variation per board. And this is when you can start getting creative. So we can add rotation of them. So you can set up this as minimum or maximum rotation. I usually don't use these settings that much. Maximum offset and minimum offset will be the same. So how much are we offsetting uh, this? The ones that I sometimes use is going to be the tilt. So what tilt is going to do, and you can see it on this other screen, is going to be adding like a little bit of variation on, on the boards, like if uh, moving them up or down. So I usually try to set up this on a really low setting. So it's not so noticeable, but you know, it's there. The next section is general. On this section, we have a scale. So we can go and scale the board. I'm just going to keep it at 100. We know we have a correct scale. The direction, which usually would be zero. So in this case, we want it to be a 90 degrees. And you can also change the seed. Again, we can offset this in case that we want different boards in and different locations. Something like that should be good. And all the other settings, we're going to be keeping them as default. So UV settings, in case you want to change the UV channel. Uh, warnings, I will just keep it as default with 10,000. And we always want this to be updating. To see how this looks, we're going to be applying a quick material to it. So we're going to be changing the frame to Corona Interactive. And we're going to be opening the material editor. And with this selected, we're going to be assigning a wood material that I have here. And as you can see, Floor Generator is a fast way to apply a floor material to your scenes. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.